I know it's been a while since I shot a video. Um, been going through a lot, you know, looking, getting a place and going through a lot of other things. And well, I finally got my place and got me a little garage now. So I'll be able to shoot more videos now. I got a whole bunch of ideas of things I'm gonna do. First, it was the place issue. Now, it's the money issue is gonna hinder me a little bit, but you know, I'll get it together. You know, I'll, so I'm gonna show you around a little bit, show you the the garage and show you some of my ideas of some videos coming up and notice I've got a few new subscribers since I shot my videos which I appreciate you know I'm just basically doing this for something to do and I enjoy working on cars and like I said before try to go through a little journey together so this is what the garage looks like now you see i got me a cold one on the floor now today what i did was actually when i got here they had sealed this whole garage off and it actually looked like somebody brought a rumpke dumpster in here and just dumped it in the garage i'll try to post some pictures with this video of what it looked like it was bad it was about three over three truck beds full of garbage and scrap but what i did was where they had sealed this off i just took and cut it out broke it out of there and went to uh, lowe's and bought some hinges and a couple handles in a, in a lock clasp because i gotta lock this up because it's kind of a bad neighborhood and i guess there's a a lot of garage break-ins but i got a little fence here there's the chevy that i did the head gasket job on and all the other brakes and everything else i posted for y'all see i put some new headlights in it didn't get to tape that one but they got a fence here i've been chaining this up chain that up and got me that i got that motion sensor light up there it's not working right though. There's too many trees back here. It's a solar powered one, so where I got it at, I'm trying to find a good spot to put it. I'm gonna switch that around. But I'll show you something here on the Chevy I'm planning on doing at some point. Try to videotape. Now I've never done this, so it'll be a learning process for me and whoever else. But I've got some cab corners and some rockers that I'm gonna put on here on both sides. So that'll be something I'll try to figure out and hopefully videotape and hopefully it turns out right. Now, I've also got a, maybe got a O2 Blazer coming over here. I've done a lot of work to that. And I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to fix that up a little bit and try to sell it because I gave it to my mom, but they didn't they don't need it so i'm trying to fix it up and do what i can with it you see i got this ls4 here as anybody knows that's a front wheel drive ls now i bought this for cheap it's all aluminum 5.3 now i had a couple thoughts with it i was i i really want the heads and the coil off of it. Now the intake's not gonna work for rear wheel drive. I'll show you what I plan on putting this LS swapping at some point or building this 350 that's under that trash bag right there and putting it in. But uh, I plan on trying to swap it into something at some point, a front wheel drive, but I changed my mind. And I was thinking about doing a Pontiac Fiero, but I thought that would be pretty cool because I've seen a few of them cheap. LS swap that out and try to make some money on it. But I think what I'm gonna do, I just finally got my cherry picker, my cherry picker back in action. It's everything, all my tools and everything was sitting in storage for oh, about a year. So 
I just now have gotten here and I've been here about a month and I've been organizing and like I said this place is a dump and you can see like I'm gonna have to replace some plywood over there over here they just got siding up with no plywood right through here so I'm gonna put a few tear that off and put a few new sheets of plywood out there before the winter there's no electric out here so hopefully before the winter I can run some electric out here you see here I got this DeWalt cordless weed eater 60 volt now this sucker's bad I'm gonna try I might do a, try to do a review on this if y'all like to see something like that I'm sure you would I like watching stuff like that but it's it's pretty nice I, I was surprised I mean it's a little expensive but it's cheaper than the Milwaukee and you know for me I mean all my tools are in DeWalt anyway so all the batteries I have are already DeWalt and for the price the wall I think is a better deal you get more bang for the buck I've got about every DeWalt I can't find my driver I don't know what I did with it I've lost it somehow doing a lot of work inside the house and I was using it and I don't know what I did with it but I got this here 60 volt so cool the soles oh it's pretty nice I got the grinder too I could do a review on both of them I was thinking about it. I bought this too this little roll around court got it on Amazon it's it's actually not too I just I, it was in a box still like all my stuff ended up in storage and I didn't even get to I just I just now built it I haven't even really used it I just set some stuff on it it's been sitting there but I bought that because I'm real bad about laying tools around and not knowing what I did with them so I'm hoping I could try to help me Put, keep my tools that I'm using, keep them up on that, and try to save myself time because I spend a lot of time looking for tools, which drives me crazy. But I still got to clean up some. Like I said, I got the doors open now, so now let me show you over here what I'm going to be pulling in. Now, I love this thing. A lot of people might not like these, but I love this thing. I got the burn barrel going over here. I was burning some leaves and some wood. But now, this sucker here is in pretty nice shape. I've done a lot of work to it. A lot of work. It needs a paint job for sure. But it's got some old school Kragers on it. This thing's been setting for, setting for a year or two. I've, the brake lights aren't working. I don't know if it's either the brake switch or if I've got a short to ground somewhere. That I'm running. That's another thing I was going to try to do. I'll try to find that short to ground with everybody. The inside ain't too hot. I got a different dash I'm going to put in there. But uh, it's I found it at a pool and pay. It's a little bit a little better shape than that one. And I to get a center console, but it was already gone. And the seats are actually pretty nice. So this was red at one time. Whoever I bought it off of it spray painted it and got the whole inside from red to black and I me myself I'd rather have it black but if I'm gonna do it I'll just buy some black carpet and I'll put some new hood supports on this like you can see there's leaves it's gonna be bad that's another thing about this place is the leaves it's gonna be pretty bad but see here I got a, I just bought a little Edelbrock 650 brand new though i ain't even hardly ran this thing edelbrock performer intake some edelbrock valve aluminum valve cover chrome valve covers i don't think they were aluminum um i got some headers to put on this i just haven't done it yet i pulled this i pulled everything apart and i redid the head gaskets and everything on this too I got a chrome water outlet here my fuel filter for that i got power master brand new power master alternator in there brand new uh Saginaw style I can't remember it was expensive chrome power steering pump it was expensive but to get this thing to work I actually had to use some compression fittings to make it fit because the style hookup back here is different than the style hookup that was on the original but I'm taking out the uh, cruise control I put new struts shocks 
brakes all around, slotted this slotted rotors, new calipers, redid the drums, put new supports on this. This sucker, these things are heavy. When I first got it, it wasn't there was nothing. It just it was dead. And if that thing fell on you, it was gonna hurt you. Looks like my tires either low or sunk in the mud. I gotta get this thing in the indoors. Another thing I did, electric fan, because these things are prone to overheat anyway. And I bought an electric fan and I hooked a, a thermostat up to it to run it. It's separate from the car. It's right in there. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Yeah, right there. I hooked it up to this and it and i also put a 165 uh thermostat in here well i hooked that up and i can run this sucker all day now and nothing it runs fine new hei distributor a little cheap one off amazon i just did this just to, just to do it get it running looking not looking kind of nice sounding kind of nice we'll try to start it up for you I had to go with the keys. Matter of fact, let me try to do that. I'll have to pump it up some real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Bad thing about being back here, man, there's mosquitoes. They are bad. Hopefully this thing starts up. I haven't started it up in a few days. About a week. It'll fire up. It'll fire up every time. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but it sounds nice. I'm gonna take these headers I got and we'll put them on here. Maybe I haven't decided if I, if I end up. I'd like to put a five three in here and turbo it and get some power under this sucker, make it nice. Right now it's just got a little 305 in it. Like I said, I got a 350 in there setting two four block or four bolt main old, uh, I think it's from, came out of a 1969 Corvette, something like that. And uh, I don't have any heads for it though. That's the only thing that's really stopped me. I need a crankshaft. I bought it off a guy. He built it. They rebuilt it. And he rebuilt it and it ran for, I think he said about 10 miles and just, and it shredded the bearings. I'm not sure why. I don't know if he maybe didn't have the right bearings in there or something was wrong. But. When I do it, I'll check, I'll mic everything and check, and I'll, if I do that one, I'll put, I'll post that one too, rebuild the 350, it'll be a nice little video. Um, put it, I'll mic everything and dial bore, use my dial bore gauge to check the uh, bore sizes on the crankshaft and on the camshaft, and we'll get everything back together I pulled the cam bearings and everything because I'm gonna start fresh on it it's like I said it's been setting look amazingly I've had it covered it's not all rusty but it's been setting for a while anyway yeah I love this car I'm a big fan of the third generation Camaros and Trans Am. I wanted to, I like to have 87 I Rock Z, but I got this. It's 87. It's, it's it's pretty nice. I just haven't had. I haven't been able to drive it. Now we go back in here. Like I said, we'll do a few videos on that. And another thing I'm going to be doing is this old table here is rotted out. I don't know if there's a water leak somewhere up in there or not. I'll have to try to find. I'll do that. I can see a hole over there, but I'll do that when I replace the plywood out there. I'm probably going to replace the plywood from there all the way over to there. Only be about three or four sheets. And then I'll replace the plywood over here. I'll probably just cut it out from there and replace over to there. 
because I guess at some point there was some kind of big critter coming in here. The only thing that sucks about doing all this, I'm not buying this house. I don't own this house, so I'm basically doing all this stuff just to use it. But you got to do what you got to do. I got a little Hobart 140 handler, a little MIG welder. It's pretty nice. It does the job. That's what I'll be using to build this table. Matter of fact, back to the table. I got these <sighs> sheets of steel. I'm going to cut them out. I'll probably make a 4x8 table. I got two sheets the same size as this one. They, I'm not sure the size is on them, but I'll have to cut them and use two sheets. I'm going to use this C channel as legs. It's all just scrap that I've came up with. I'll use some of this C channel as legs and we'll try to make a little sturdy table and I like to make it put it over here I'll tear this one out obviously so I might videotape that making that table and may videotape sometime I'll go through and give you a tour of my toolbox and everything I got tools scattered all over though they're in the house I have a DeWalt bag that I take when I go somewhere with it and it's got a lot of my tools in matter of fact it's got a whole bunch of tools it's got anything you possibly need to do a job I know the lighting sucks I apologize I'm gonna run some electric out here and put some LED lights up but I've got I could do, I got pretty much every tool you could think of to do a job. I mean, there's obviously more tools man's gonna need. But, this is just one of them 72 inch Harbor Freight boxes. This sucker's pretty nice. I got the 72 inch box. I mean, I got a lot of Harbor Freight stuff that does, does the job for me. I got the cherry picker. I got the one ton engine stand, but the only bad thing about this is it doesn't line up to put my engine in, so I gotta maneuver it over and try to slide it in. I'll just hook the piece that goes in here and I keep it hooked on there and I'll lift it up and just slide it in from the side or however I can get it in. I thought about the other one though, it just fits right in between there and it's no problem, but this is more heavy duty, so I bought it. And I've also got the Harbor Freight roll around tool cart which is nice they got the newer style out now which makes me mad because i'd rather have a black or a blue one i'd rather have the blue one but i don't bought that so maybe one day i'll sell it and put it towards the price of getting the blue one i've got the little harbor freight two shelf roll around carts full to fill with garbage got this craftsman harley davidson toolbox little tiny toolbox it's pretty pretty nice I got it I found it. I had a, some points and a deal and I think I ended up paying like 25 bucks for it so to me it was worth it even though I don't really need it I got the Harbor Freight's parts washer over here it's full of LS parts I got a 48 LS over there that I took apart but like I said, I'm gonna probably go, I mean, 4853 is the same engine, just different pistons and whatnot. And I've also got 46RE transmission that I took apart probably a year and a half ago to rebuild. And all the parts for it's in there. I may take rebuilding that if I ever can afford to get the rebuild kit. I'm just gonna rebuild it and sell it because I don't have that truck anymore old 98 Dodge Ram I believe and I uh, took the engine and transmission out and the engines you know, end up going to the scrap yard along with everything and I'm going to rebuild the transmission and try to sell it and try to make a little money recoup some of the money I got all kinds of new parts and stuff that I bought for it that I never did get to use I also bought this Harbor Freight Daytona Jack now this is a nice jack nice jack comparable to snap on jack i mean for real comparable to it this thing i the reason i bought it was i was doing uh u-bolts on the that back axle on the chevy 
and I have the other Harbor Freight junk. It's not junk, but it's just a cheaper one wherever it's rolled around here somewhere. There it is. And it wasn't, I didn't have, it, it didn't have enough height to get that, to get underneath that back frame and lift that Chevy off the ground. So I went and bought that Daytona and that Daytona will get up under there under the back and lift it up off the ground. It's got 23 and a quarter height, I think, or something like that. And this one is like three or four inches shorter, but it's pretty, it, it's pretty nice. I may do a review on that and that's the only little air compressor I got right now. I'm going to have to get a better air compressor. But when I run my electric out here, I'll run. I have to, the only thing that sucks about running the electric out here is I got to go around all these tree stumps and I got to go all the way around the side. Over to there, over to that back window. Right there. It's, that's about where the box is. I have to drill through there and I have to dig a trench down through here and run it over to there. And I'll hook a circuit breaker box up in here. And I'll get me a 220 outlet and probably hook it up right in here somewhere. And I'll get me a 220 outlet and a couple 110s and I'll run some LED lights across the top and it'll be nice. Definitely going to up the property value on this place for the landlord. I've already upped the property value on it for I've put new paneling in the kitchen and I mean it's just it's been one thing after another and that's why it's taken so long and it's been spending money and time and problems and but what are you going to do about it? I'm a survivor. I'm a fighter. We'll get through it. And we're going to tape some car videos. Well, anyway, I think that's about it. Like I said, I got all kinds of different things I'm wanting to try to do. And it's going to be money, money issue now. But as soon as I get the money and I'll do it one thing at a time and we'll have some fun while we do it. Because I don't know about you, but this stuff's fun to me. And I'm sure it's fun to you. And that's why you're watching. So, I guess until, until then, until then I'll work on uploading this. I didn't realize how much time and it, it, it's a lot of time in editing these videos. I don't even remember if I got all the head gasket videos loaded or not. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a process. But this one here, I'll just play it probably straight through. I'll add in a couple pictures of the garage before and whatever else I can do, but I'll play it straight through and it'll save me a lot of time in editing and doing everything. And it's a, it's a process. So you just bear with me. Hopefully I can get some new subscribers and we'll have some fun and I'll review some tools. I have plenty of tools to review here and things from Harbor Freight and good tools. I mean, I, I have the whole, the whole, the whole nine yards. Got a little bit of mix of everything in here. But until then, I guess that's it. We'll, uh, we'll try to, I'm not sure what I'm going to work on first. Well, I do know what I'm going to work on first. What I'm going to work on first is building this table. So my next video will probably be, I think I have enough C channel for the legs. I'll check. I'm gonna draw it up and we'll go through the whole process together. I'm gonna draw it up and we'll weld it up and put it up there and it'll be a sturdy table. You could set a freaking car on by the time I'm done with it. And it's all gonna be done with that little 140 handler, 110 volt, Cause I checked it. I checked. Actually checked it yesterday. I wanted to see how many, how many volts I could run it on using an extension cord for now. Because I have to run an extension. It ran it. It ran it fine. No problem. I had it cranked all the way up. Ran it fine. No problem. Cause I'm gonna have to crank it up to do this. Have to. I mean, there's no other choice. 
But I'm glad now I got my cherry picker working and everything too. That's gonna help with these sheets of steel because these sheets of steel are heavy. I loaded them on with a forklift. They got some weight to them. So I'll have to get a little, figure something out to pick these things up because I'm not trying to pick them up myself. I got them ran into some back problems and everything. But anyway, until next time, have a drink. You guys have a good night, day, whatever it is. Whatever you do, be good at it.